All right, keep two guys how to. I'm here doing a video quickie quick. Got plenty of things to do on this truck. Uh, check the pickup tube in the gas tank. It's everything's good to go on that. Check the fuses. And the problem we're having with this thing is it's hard starting. Uh, longer starts, so it could be a combination of different things. Hopefully not the, the high pressure pump to keep the injectors. So we're going to start off on just routine maintenance uh, as far as with the, the cam position sensor. And I just went up to Ford and got one. This is the, the Frank 7 Tom Zebra. And it's a dash 12K as in kite, 073 dash B as in boy. So that's our OEM part. I'm not messing around with any O'Reilly's or advanced auto crap. Uh, I'm just going straight to the dealer and uh, it should work and give us a good long, long run. So uh, you can see it, it just plugs in. It's got a little O-ring here. Uh, we'll put a little oil on that. Uh, depending, we'll clean the orifice up. So let's get down underneath and it's basically right near the crank. Uh, the bottom harmonic balancer, the crank uh, pulley and everything, and it's going to be about at the 11 o'clock position. So we're going to have to kind of go in between the, the belt and just get in there. i got a 10, 10 millimeter socket deep well with a couple extensions and we'll play around with it as well as a little bit of WD-40 that we can spray on there to make sure we don't, you know, ream the bolt off or anything like that. So let's get down underneath. i got a piece of uh, cardboard to lay on and uh, grab the tools that's getting down there and hopefully you guys can see it real quick and I can show you where it is, I can get it off and you can do the same as well. Uh, I got my 10 millimeter deep socket, I got a couple other extensions, a smaller all the way up to a six inch, probably a two, a four and a six. We'll see what we're going to need, but first of all, if you're looking at the truck here, this is the front. I'm going to go up underneath it here, and I usually put my legs up that way, up underneath the, the truck itself, and uh, I'll show you guys exactly where the sensor is. It's got a plug in it and a 10 mil, and I actually sprayed it up with some WD-40 earlier. If not, I'm going to hit it with some PB Blaster, so let me get you guys show you exactly where it is so we're up underneath the motor now and hopefully you guys can see that if not let me make the light a lot brighter here there's all your your crank your oil pan and right up in this area here is your crank sensor and you can see the wire so what I'm gonna do is put my legs underneath going towards the back of the truck and I go up here between the radiator hoses and that's it right there. And actually, I'm gonna pull the tab off and get that electrical connection off of there. Move it back out of the way, make sure it doesn't get a bunch of dirt and debris in it. And that's your connection. And you can see it's got that little tab on it. Let's see if I can wedge this light in here real quick for you guys. It's got that little tab right there and your new one should have that as well. So let's get in there and let's see if we can crack this thing loose. If it doesn't crack super easy using that quarter inch drive and socket, I'm gonna spray it with some PB Blaster and go at it from the top if I can. Okay guys, so I went up here. It's hard to tell under here. I'm going up in front of the, the radiator, right in the center of the fan, up through that crank pulley and over top. And I'm gonna put that, that 10 millimeter deep well socket, as you can see. I'm using a quarter inch drive so I don't strip anything or break it out. And I'm gonna go right above that tab I showed you. Let's see if I can find that, that 10 mil. It's hard when I'm holding the camera. And I'm on that right now, so there we go. And it's kind of at an angle. It's a little bit weird of a spot, the way it is. Uh, the, you almost hit the crank. The belts there so I'm gonna go back in with uh, I've got my my little forge extension in that deep well socket let's go back in right above that that crank pulley and my extensions here have little uh, grip grip uh, notches cut into them and they work really good when you got the oily fingers so let's go ahead and take that out and kind of give our arm a little bit of muscle memory with the way that bolt came out. You see it right there, nice and clean. And we could put some anti-seize on it for later. And I'm gonna grab that little tab right there. 
and a little bit of oil should come out, possibly. We'll see, actually. A lot might come out. I don't have a rag here, but... And you want to just kind of wiggle that thing real gently to get it out of there. Don't, don't break it off. And that whole sensor should, should pop up out of there. Just like that. Grab that little tab and I spun that up to about the nine o'clock position. And I put both of my hands up in there and wiggled it out and you can see it possibly coming out of that hole right there. Going right into the motor block. And we'll bring it down and that's it right there. So let's get out and I'll show you guys what it looks like versus the new and match them up and we'll reinstall it the same way. Okay, so there's the old sensor. This is a brand new one. Identical, the tab I was showing you that you can pull. And I went ahead and I rotated this, spun it up about to the nine o'clock position and got the whole, the whole sensor moving. That way that O-ring can kind of break free from the seal. It's a little O-ring around there. And we've got another one here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to that. Um, just so it goes in nice and smooth. And we've got some anti seize the Permatex grease, and you can see the way the that 10 millimeter bolt stuck right in that uh, deep well socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of anti seize grease on the tip of that, like that. That way when I screw it in, if and when next time I need a new one, it'll come straight out. So let's get back under the truck and get this thing installed. All right, so I got the brand new sensor here. I put a little bit of oil around that seal, whoops. Right there, and I use the rag to clean off the orifice way up there. Goes up and right there, I cleaned off that whole thing. So let's go ahead and put this new one back up inside there, and I got some dielectric grease I'm gonna use on the opposite side of the connector. Let's go back up the same way it came out. You just wanna wiggle it in there gently. Same way it came out, you don't want to force it, you just want it to go in there and seal up with that little bracket, so that's it, boom, slid right in, Whoop. slid right in, we'll move that little tab into place, and we'll get our, our screw in there. I'm gonna go right over top of that crank pulley and line it up. Yep, well, like I said, my extensions have the little traction grip for your fingers on it. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. And I'm using a four inch extension with a deep well socket. And before I tighten it, tighten it down, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little wiggle. And touch it, make sure it's seated and good to go. So I'm gonna snug that back down and on that connection, that's right here. Let's see if I can get to it. I'm gonna clean that off a little bit right there and uh, put some dielectric grease on it and plug it back in and see if she fires up. Everything's running good, nice and smooth. Uh, CPS sensors in down in there, 10 millimeter wrench, couple extensions or a deep well socket, however you want to do it. And I just go ahead and face my, my legs down the side of the truck underneath the middle of it and just one up that way. That way you can put one hand right up uh, through the belt so above the, uh, the crank pulley and one around to the left and you're good to go. So uh, I'm going to move on to the next thing. It's getting dark, shutting it down tonight. And uh, Hopefully this helps you get it in there without a bunch of BS and fighting around. Sorry, the camera sucked, but uh, that's it. Simple, 10 millimeter, buy an extra one, throw it in the glove box is what they say. I've never had a problem with them and I've ran tons of these trucks plowing and drove all over the United States. I've never had to change one out while being on the road, but uh, definitely get a good one. Otherwise you probably will be changing on the side of the road. See ya, keep you guys how to, later. I'm not a pig, I'm a lawyer. What's up, Iggy? Talk to him before I shut the video down. Oh yeah. Yep. You're not a pig, you're a lawyer. He's not a pig, he's a lawyer. 
Peace.